What's going on guys, Dr. Mo here. And today I wanna to talk about some peptides that help optimize the immune system. Now there's a bunch of peptides that help with the immune system, but I'm gonna talk about four peptides in particular. Dimacin alpha one, dimacin beta four, BPC-157 and growth hormone analogs. And I picked these four because I have a good amount of clinical ex uh, experience with them. I've talked to some of my colleagues who've used, used them with their patients, so I can give you kind of that view of things. Uh, not medical advice. All right, so let's start with the thymusin alpha-1. So your thymus produces uh, immune cells, T cells in particular, and thymusin alpha-1 is a peptide that tells the body to produce these. Sedaxin is this molecule that is actually a drug that's FDA cleared, and it's being used for hepatitis and cancer. Now, again, the peptide helps with the thymus, the thymus produces white blood cells, T cells, in particular CD8 and C4. These are your killer cells and helper cells as well, but the killer cells, I think that's just a really cool name. Uh, but your killer cells are basically your immune system that go after and they, they kill things and they, they take care of the bad guys. So thymus and alpha one though, it decreases in humans as we age. So what we can do is supplement to help bring it up. Uh, thymus and alpha one also seems like it does a great job of actually helping the body find balance. You know, the immune system, when it is super high, causes autoimmune diseases. When it's super low, it can cause things like cancer. And for some reason, uh, thymus and alpha helps, helps bring balance. And it does this by going after tumors it increases stem cells and also increases glutathione. Uh, you guys have heard me talk about glutathione quite often the body's main antioxidant so definitely want to make sure that we have that optimized <clears throat> so what are a lot of uh, functional medicine integrative uh, longevity doctors how are they using this uh, most are i have a lot of colleagues using it for cancer um, it's also being used in cold and flu wink wink um, it actually helps when you give vaccines increasing the uh, immune response, but also, again, kind of helping balance the body, find the, the correct response with the vaccine. It does in decrease inflammation, and it's also, I've heard a lot of my colleagues using it in Lyme disease. Um, I personally look more at the aging because it helps with the cellular senescence process. So uh, dose-wise, uh, I do the 1.5 milligrams twice weekly, maximum, usually six months. You can go up to 12. Now, anytime that you're tinkering with the immune system, I'm a little conservative, so I like to sit at that six-month uh, mark. But again, the, the devil's in the detail as far as what's going on with the patient. Uh, but side effects wise, there's really not a whole lot being shown in most of the papers. Thymus and alpha actually uh, outranks placebo in the side effects, which is great. I personally take it anytime I'm going to travel, anytime I start feeling sick or I'm stressed. Um, when the, the recent flu outbreak started, uh, I did start supplementing with it just as a precautionary, precautionary measures. All right, thymus and beta four. So these, these, when you really think about immune function, you really want to think uh, thymus and alpha one. As far as thymus and beta four, this is really working more on the regenerative part. But you, you got to think when bad stuff comes in and wrecks everything, you need it to be, you need it to repair. And thymus and works in, in both of those areas. Um, the, the thymus and beta four increases the T and the B cells. Again, these are white blood cells. This is this is your body's immune system. Um, and thymus and beta, it's in every cell of your body. And it especially gets upregulated anytime that there's some form of tissue or neuro, uh, neuro, neurological damage. So really, again, it's a repair mechanism. Um, it helps increase stem cells, increases angiogenesis. So you get new, fresh blood full of good stuff to help heal the area. And it helps decrease inflammation. So downstream decreases IL-8 and TNF-alpha. That's going to decrease inflammation. Increasing uh, IL-18 interferon gamma, which is going to boost the immune system. I don't even know. I, I don't know if I can say boost. Some people were like, saw some YouTube videos, people complaining about you can't even use the word boost because it's not medical or whatever. But, but you get what I'm saying. All right. Dose wise, 750 mics. You want to do that subcutaneous. Uh, you can do that up for 20 days to the three month mark. Similar to what I was talking about with the thymus and alpha one. I like to play it conservative on the safe side anytime you're tinkering with the immune system but it seems like it's super, super safe. And a lot of the clinical trials, the dosages were, were way higher than that. Um, so again, when I'm thinking kind of immune function, I'm going to pair this with the thymus and alpha one. And anytime I'm thinking more repair, I'm actually going to couple this with the BPC-157. So when you're thinking like shoulder injury repair, 
Uh, and the thymus and beta F4 has actually been used a lot for like hair regrowth and basically skin regeneration. And again, it has a super low side effect profile. All right, BPC157. Dr. Mo, you've talked about this one a lot. This is the, this is the one that helps heal the gut lining, right? Yep, BPC157, it's, it's found in the gut lining. But what does that have to do with the immune function? That's a really good question because it has everything to do with the immune function. So BPC157 is found in your gut lining. Your gut lining repairs itself very quickly and very often. So we take that compound and, you know, it does all kinds of cool stuff all over the body. But one thing we really need to remember is that 70 to 80% of the immune system is in that malt and in that gulf that's in your gut. That's where your immune system starts. We need to keep that healthy. We need to keep that repaired. So it helps heal the gut and keeps the tight junctions that basically when you eat food, you're a big tube and food goes in your stomach. And if you're, if the walls in your stomach are permeable, that's why they also call this um, intestinal permeability. Mo large molecules get in your bloodstream, and then your body's immune system goes haywire. This is, you know, leaky gut. And so by having a good, strong gut lining, using something like BPC-157, you can really help keep the immune system in tip-top condition. So again, leaky gut um, is going to increase the uh, inflammation and decrease the immune function. So, and BPC has been shown also to help with increasing growth hormone sensitivity throughout the body. We'll talk about why that's a good thing in a second. Uh, dose wide, the BPC 157. I usually do the 500 mics once to twice daily orally. This can also be done subcutaneous. As far as the side effects go, again, really none reported. And I have heard, um, I was talking to Nick Andrews when I was at the A4M, and he had said that the uh, I remember he was telling me some studies about how it actually decreases anaphylaxic responses, which is crazy, which means it's actually probably helping modulate the immune system in one way or another. All right, last but not least are the growth hormone analogs. You know, and again, that might be wondering, like, why is Dr. Mo, he's talking about the gut healing, now growth hormone. Well, why growth hormone? Okay, well, before I get too far, I always kind of want to re-elaborate. There's two form of these analogs. We have the growth hormone releasing hormones. Smorelin, Tessamorelin, uh, CJC1295, and then we have the growth, growth hormone releasing peptides. And the difference is the way that they hit on different receptors in the brain. You basically have two different receptors. They hit different ones. And so they do act slightly different. The GHRPs are hitting the growth hormone secretagogue receptor, which is the ghrelin receptor. Um, that basically tells your body to be hungry. And that's why the GHRP6, amphimorelin, MK677, um, not much with Amparone, but MK677 and GHRP6, people do have a tendency to get hungry. So again, devil's in the details. Depends on what's going on. If you're sick, maybe it's a good idea and you're trying to eat some more food. So maybe a GHRP could help you in that way. Um, but again, two different type of molecules here. I personally like to stack the CJC1295 and Amparone together. Again, that's another conversation. But again, why growth hormone analogs? Well, the the... Growth hormone actually tells the body to increase the white blood cell count, and it helps actually modulate our cytokines. Um, there's a reason when people are fasting that the immune system gets boosted in that state as well. Um, so again, growth hormone analogs increase growth hormone. Growth hormone is going to increase our white blood cells and our cytokines. And a lot of these uh, growth hormone analogs help us get uh, better and deeper sleep. Well, when's the immune system the strongest? When's it cleaning it out of the gunk? Nothing, nothing's really one of the most important things ever for your immune system is to get good amounts of sleep. I included here Tessamorelin Egrifta. It's an FDA cleared and certified uh, drug. Uh, and here are some of the benefits with the trigs, the visceral fat. Um, it's been shown to help with the carotid intima media, decreasing it and help lower uh, CRP. And the dose depends. MK677 is like 12 to 25 milligrams. It's oral. Amphimorelin CJ1295. You're going to do 100 to 200 mics a night and evening. Um, so it really depends. A lot of these have a pretty minimal side effect profile. The GHRP6, the, the Samorelin. You have to watch out for prolactin, cortisol, and thyroid stuff. So those are my four peptides that I like that help optimize the immune system. Um, let me know what you guys think if you have other peptides that maybe I should have talked about here today. Uh, if you have a friend that likes peptides, maybe share this video with them. And if you like peptides, go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe button, stick around. And I look forward to seeing you guys all again. Stay fit and healthy and safe, my friends. All right, till next time. Dr. Mo signing out.